The components required for this experiment are node MCU board and node MCU breakout board or you can use a breadboard, rain sensor, ultrasonic sensor, connecting cable and connecting wires. Now log into the Bling.Cloud website. Then go to Developer Zone and here click on New Template. Here enter the template name Smart Waste Management and select the hardware as ESP8266 and connection type as Wi-Fi. Then click on the Done button. Now go to Data Streams and click on New Data Stream and select Virtual Pin. Here create the variable name as Distance and select the pin as V5 and data type as double. Give the maximum value as 100. If you want, we can change this color. Now click on the create button. Now go to web dashboard and here drag the gauge widget. Now go to the settings of this gauge widget and here select the data stream. Now click on the save button. Now go to events and notifications and click on create event. Here we need to create two events. So as per the program, the first event is waste underscore alert. So paste the event name and here we can enter the description. We can also use the same description as we mentioned in the code. Now here select the time as one second. Now enable this button show event in notification section and also enable this send event to timeline button. Now go to notifications tab and here enable notifications. So here we need to select email to device owner and push notifications to device owner. Also enable this button and also enable the notifications management. Now click on the create button. Now we need to add the second event. So the event name which you mentioned in the program is rain underscore alert. Now paste the event name and then copy the description. You can give any description. The, the description need not to be same as per the program. The event name should be same in the program as well as in the blink. And here also select time as one second. Enable this even, uh, show event notifications and send event to timeline. And then go to notifications and enable notifications. So here select device owner for email and also for push notifications and also deliver push notifications as alerts and also enable the notifications management. Now click on the create button. Now save the template. Now go to devices. Here click on new device and go to from template and here we can see the template which we created. So select the template and click on the create button. Now copy this template ID, template name and authentication token and paste in the program. Now upload the program to the node MCU board. For that go to tools, select board, ESP8266 and node MC 1.0 and then select the port. And now click this arrow button and upload the program to the node MCU board.
Now the program is successfully uploaded to the Node MCU board. Now we can set up the Blink mobile dashboard. For that, download the Blink IoT application from the Play Store. Once you open the application, you can see the template which we created from the Blink web dashboard. Now click on the template, go to settings icon and then click the plus button from the bottom and here we need to add a gauge widget. Now click on the gauge and select the data stream. Now click the back button and click the back button again. Now the setup is completed and now we can check the output.